guys, it's Nicole with Intimate Wisdom. So we'll be doing this reading for Leo, my mighty Leos. How y'all doing today? So this is for November the 20th through the 26th. What messages do we have for Leo? November the 20th through the 26th. Hmm. Messages for Leo. November the 20th through the 26th. So your underlying energy is the ten of swords. So this represents the end of a phase or a difficult situation, embracing change, expecting things to get better. Um, maybe even some of you recovering from an, an addiction. Um, usually when I get the ten of swords, that means you're getting to the to the, the brink. You're, you're transitioning past this heartache or past this tough time that you've been having. So let's pull some clarification for Leo. November the 20th through the 26th. Clarification for Leo. Let me reshuffle the action though. No, we're not. <laughs> All right, so your underlying energy for your clarification is the fool card. Maybe there's a need or a desire for you to start something new, go on a new journey, maybe even some unexpected opportunities coming at you, um, and you're ready to kind of take a leap of faith. So your theme is the high priestess and the empress. So this represents listening to your intuition, honoring your feelings, um, having patience with yourself, carefully considering what you want before acting. With this empress, this could be a birth of new conditions, a birth of new um, opportunities, um, this could also be literal birth, especially with the high priestess and the empress together. So this could be pregnancy for some of you guys, or the desire to be pregnant or be a mother, or this could be, or this could be dealing with um, children or family situations. Today we got the chariot, so this is moving forward. This is um, this is moving forward from something, especially with the six of swords. We got both both of these cards represent movement. So either you're actually moving today, like you actually are taking a trip, or you guys are moving out of a difficult situation and there's a need for you to actually stay focused on the task at hand, okay? So we got the Queen of Swords Tuesday. This represents clearing away um, things that no longer serve you, um, seeing the human situation, even making objective decisions about something, maybe because things didn't turn out the way you'd hoped um, and there were some messages that came in pretty fast that you didn't like. So now it's a, it's a deed for you to actually clear up your energy and make an objective decision about something because... Wednesday we got the two of swords so this is you being unwilling or unable to make a decision pretending that there's not a problem being at a stalemate maybe within your foundation this could be dealing with a job for some of you guys this could be you trying to work your foundation trying to like um find some type of grounding or maybe you just need to make some sensible approaches um maybe you know it is a holiday week maybe some of you guys are spending a little too much and this could be talking about you keeping some of that in, like keeping some of those resources in, making um, sensible decisions or taking a sensible approach to something. Thursday, we got the King of um, Pentacles. So this represents confidently accepting opportunities that you're being faced or that you're, that you're being offered. This represents you having the Midas touch. And with this Page of Cups, this could be someone coming in to offer you a relationship or this just could be you feeling very spiritual, very loved today um, because this is a very confident day for you. Friday, we got the Ace of Swords. So this represents brilliant new ideas and inspiration, seeing the truth in the situation, and maybe even a challenging beginning. Whichever the whichever it is, whether it's the truth of the situation or a challenge beginning, make sure that you're doing everything within moderation. This could be talking about um, emotions. This could be talking about, you know, like uh, drug use, alcohol use, 
anything as a such spending anything that that suffice for you this could be you talk talking about you using it in moderation this could be seeing the challenge beginning um within the sagittarius or the challenge beginning within your faith maybe you're going down a journey because i got two angels in a row right there so this represents you going on a spiritual journey especially with the high priestess and the empress maybe this week you're going on a spiritual journey and there's a need for you to actually move forward past some things recognize what's needs to be changed in your life and actually remove and change the things that you need to change okay saturday we got the night of one so this represents something happening very fast needing your uh, attention right at that moment time being of the essence make sure you think things make sure you're thinking things through carefully with this prince of swords right here this represents um this is the might of swords so this represents like i said things coming in at a very fast pace for you this represents you um Okay, Tuesday, we got the Page of Swords. So this will represent a delay in something. Things not turn out the way you hope and you um, get into some type of delay Tuesday. But Saturday, this is something happening very fast. This is not a delay. This is something happening very fast. Maybe finding out messages very fast. And I believe it is because we got the Knight of Wands and the Knight of Swords um, clarifying. So this is finding out messages very fast, finding out the information very fast, gaining clarity very fast on the situation. Um, something that is requiring your attention right then, okay? So make sure that you're, you know, thinking things through before you make a decision. Really think it through. Sunday, we got the Eight of Swords. So this represents a challenge. I mean, <laughs> this represents an illusion of being trapped, lacking self-confidence with the will card clarifying this. So you may just be needing to take action with something. You needed to get something in motion, okay? Because this is clarifying this Eight of, Eight of Swords. So right now, you're lacking self-confidence. You're afraid to move or afraid to make a move about something, um, afraid to take action with something. The will of fortune is telling you now is the time. You must take action on this now. Have confidence in yourself and move forward. Move the situation along, okay? So let's put this up. Let's see what messages we have from my Leos. Okay, here we go. Here we're upside down. What messages do we have for Leo for the week of... Okay, hey, those are messages they want you to have. Make sure you're listening to your inner self. Make sure you're um, following your confidence or having confidence. And, um, or what the other one was. Okay, we got God and children. It says you're good at helping, counseling, and healing children. Use your skills to help children now. And I know I got to use that one because I pulled the Empress card and that does represent um, children or situations dealing with children. So let's see. Give me two more for Leo, November the 20th. Through the 26th, Leo. November the 20th through the 26th. We got Mother Earth and we got Prosperity. It says you are called upon to help with environmentalism. This could be so simple as you needing to get out, get, get outside, be a part of nature, find your grounding, and also help with environmentalism. Help, you know, rebuild Mother Earth. We also got Prosperity. It says the universe is pouring its abundance out to you. Be open to receiving. So a lot of us are needing to be open to receiving the abundance the abundance that's being pushed out for us. Let's go ahead and pick these up. Thank you guys. You have a good night.